There are triangles all around us, ranging from nachos to samosas to road signs. We see various triangles almost every day of our lives. They come in different types and sizes too. You ever wondered how to calculate the area of triangles? Let's watch this video. In this video, we will learn to find the area of a triangle whose side lengths are given. The most commonly used formula to find the area of a triangle is Area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height. But to use this formula, we should know the height of the triangle. In the case of a right triangle, we can take any of the two perpendicular sides as base and height. In the case of an equilateral triangle, we can take any side as base and calculate the distance of the opposite vertex from this base to find height using Pythagoras theorem. For an isosceles triangle, we can take the unequal side as base and find the distance of the opposite vertex from this base to deduce the height using Pythagoras theorem. Now, suppose that the lengths of the sides of a scalene triangle are given. Can we find its area using the formula? Oh no! Its height is not given and we don't have a clue to find it. How will you find its area then? In such cases, we use the formula known as Heron's formula, named after a Greek mathematician, Heron of Alexandria. It is also known as Hero's formula. Heron of Alexandria had derived this famous formula for finding the area of a triangle using only the lengths of its three sides. Before understanding Heron's formula in detail, let us recollect a few facts about a triangle. We know that a triangle has three sides. How will you find the perimeter of a triangle? The perimeter of a triangle is given by the sum of the lengths of its sides. Let us consider a triangle with its sides as A, B and C. Its perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Now, let's learn a new measure called the semi-perimeter of a triangle. What do you mean by semi? Semi means half. So, semi-perimeter means half of perimeter. Therefore, the semi-perimeter of the triangle with its sides A, B and C is equal to A plus B plus C whole divided by 2. After understanding these facts, now we are in a good position to learn Heron's formula. It states that if a triangle has sides of length A, B and C, then its area is given by the formula area of a triangle is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is the semi-perimeter of the triangle. That is, S is equal to A plus B plus C whole divided by 2. Look at this triangular shaped field. Its dimensions are 60 meters, 100 meters and 140 meters. Let's find its area using Heron's formula. Here, A is equal to 60, B is equal to 100, and C is equal to 140. Therefore, S is equal to A plus B plus C whole divided by 2, which is equal to 60 plus 100 plus 140 whole divided by 2, which is equal to 150 meters. Now, S minus A is equal to 150 minus 60, equal to 90. S minus B is equal to 150 minus 100, equals to 50. 
S minus C is equal to 150 minus 140 equal to 10. Let us substitute these values in Heron's formula. Area of the triangle is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C that is equal to under root of 150 into 90 into 50 into 10 equal to 1500 root 3 meter squared. Hence the area of the triangular field is 1500 root 3 meter squared. Let's summarize what we have learned in this video. We have learned Heron's formula to find the area of a triangle whose side lengths are given. According to Heron's formula, the area of triangle with side lengths A, B and C is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is the semi-perimeter of the triangle. Heron's formula is like a superhero of formulas. Did you know that we can use this formula to calculate the area of other polygons as well? Watch our upcoming videos to learn more about such concepts. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.